Uh, hello out there YouTube, welcome back to my channel, Paul Works World of Entertainment. If you're new here, please consider hitting, hitting the like button, and, the, and please consider subscribing to my channel. It actually doesn't cost you anything to subscribe or hit the like button, and it does help. that does help my channel when you do so. Um, this video, first of all, I'm saying um, I wanted to give a happy 4th of July to the United States of America. Um, and this is going to be an update video for Kennywood and Sandcastle. They're here in the greater Pittsburgh area. Um, with the onset of COVID-19 and the fact that the number of cases have really um, expanded, there's, a lot, there's just a lot more cases. They have delayed opening. And now Sandcastle had no date as far as when they were planning to open it. They're both basically owned by the same company. Um, however, Kennywood still had July 11th as as a date. Although, I think that they that's something they just didn't completely update yet because it's really going to be up to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania to tell them when they can open. Um, now, when if you're going to go to either place, you will have to register in advance for a certain date because they're going to have capacity restrictions and you're going to have to look at you're going to have to be able to see their you note know, see their calendar and see if the, if there are avail availability if there's availability for these dates because some um, once once capacity once capacity is reached then th those dates will no longer be available um the on um, Whenever you are, sh whenever you are, upon entering Kennywood or uh, or Sandcastle, uh, they will be taking your temperature, and if you have a temperature of a hundred point four or higher, you will be denied admission, and also if you are displaying COVID nineteen symptoms, you will also be de you will be denied admission. Um, they both. As far at, at Kennywood in particular, they're going to have um, sanitizer stations throughout the park. Um, as far as masks, masks are going to be required to enter either park. Um, for Kennywood, they are you are required to keep them on, and the only the only the only situ the only situations where you, you would remove them. Is if you were going on water rides like the Raging Rapids and the Pittsburgh Plunge, or if you are actually um, if you are eating or, or drinking, if you have if you are, have you have food or if you have are drinking anything, you can remove your mask then. But otherwise, the, you have to have a mask and it has to stay on. Um, and I'm getting my information actually from the the websites for both Kennywood and uh, Sandcastle. Uh, now at Sandcastle, the masks are required upon entry. They also take your temperature. Um, and all their attractions there are not allowed or required. However, if you are standing in line at a um, beverage, a food or beverage station, you are required to, be, to wear them. And if you're going into a bathroom or any enclosed any enclosed place, like a bathroom or a gift shop, they are also going to be required. You're, you will be required to be wearing them. And at both places, masks are required for everybody except for little ones under the age of three. Um, and upon entering both parks, you the, the consumer would be assuming all the risks of getting of of getting COVID nineteen. Um, at far as far as Kennywood goes, rides that will be closed um, are going to be. And let's see here: the 4D Theater, Noah's Ark, the Steelers Experience, and the Big Adventure Play Zone. And other rides that may not be open are Raging Rapids, uh, Ghostwood Estate. Black Widow, uh, the Bayern Curve, and it also says on the site that, that there's, that's subject to change. And these are only 
the ones that may be closed due to COVID-19. This is not counting other rides that could end up being closed due to maintenance issues or breakdowns or anything, anything like that. Um, <clears throat> the, let me see if I'm missing anything here, but that will, that will cover it actually. That actually is it. Um, even though Kennywood listed July 11th as their, the date that they plan, that they're, they plan, I guess, plan on opening or that they may not have just not completely updated their site yet. So I would definitely, you have to call ahead anyways, and so you'll be able, you'll have to either call ahead or um, go online, but it, you have to look at their calendar and see if what dates are going to be available. But as far as Sandcastle goes, they are closed until further notice, and it's really whenever, again, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania tells them that they can open is when they would, they, is when they would open. Um, again, we are in uncertain times, and so... Things are always going to be subject to change. And so always keep that in mind and be very careful. If you're going to go to Kennywood or Sandcastle, be very careful. Uh, they are going to be requiring also social distancing as well. So they'll, they'll just like if you go to um, stores, I mean, they'll, they'll have so they'll have the social distancing tell you where you, where you basically where you could stand so that you're socially distant. Um, but that'll do it for this video. Again, please hit the like and please hit the subscribe buttons. And again, if you wanted to, if you wanted to learn more, you can certainly go to their website for more information. But I wanted to give make it easy and put it in front of you on my channel. Um, and that'll do it. Again, thanks for watching. And if you made it at this point, um, again, again, please hit the like and the subscribe buttons. And then everybody have a wonderful day.